nothing honest about what you do. There are no good guys and bad guys in Arrow. I mean, it would be pretty silly to just m label me as a good guy. Who supplies you with vertigo? Tell me now and you live. Please! Kill me. Do I have a virtuous cause? Yes. Am I the cause of a lot of collateral damage along the way? Absolutely. And is that a bit of a moral quandary? For sure. To say that my mom is evil, clearly she's not evil. She's mixed up with people. Whether she's spearheading this movement or not, she clearly has some emotional reservations about it. And one of the things we learned at the end of episode 11 was Tommy's father, Malcolm the Dark Archer, I mean, it seems to me like he became this archer for much the same reason that Oliver has become the hood. Oliver is trying to avenge his father. He's trying to avenge his wife. The moral ambiguity is a big part of the series. These are flawed people, which makes them more real. If they're more real, people can relate to them. And if they're relating to them, then they're going to tune back in. You can't go out there, though, Oliver. We are now building a repertoire of villains. China White, she returns in episode 16, as well as Deadshot. The Huntress, who had a cool arc in episode 7 and 8, she's going to be back as well. One of the themes is secrets. Secrets are becoming unraveled. I mean, very, very soon in the series, somebody else learns Oliver's identity. And it's the first time that this happens, not by Oliver's design. He's here! He who? The hood! When he revealed himself to Diggle, he revealed himself to Diggle. He gets caught in a corner in a very tough situation where he doesn't have any choice. Let's open up the only guests.